Hey everyone, just did a nice edge tune here on my Stranda Biru. And I'm just gonna show you what all goes into an edge tune when you want uh, pretty much perfection. So I'm starting with a 200 grit diamond stone here to clean up the edge and to uh, get the metal ready uh, for the files. Then we got a 10 cut file, a 14 cut file, uh, 16 cut file, so they get finer as you go down the line, followed by a 400 grit diamond, a 600 grit diamond, and a 1000 grit diamond. I'm going to show you this one. This is nuts. Um, side cut tuning tools, 1000 grit diamond. This is barely abrasive. It It's just incredible. Um, and then I love finishing with these uh, flexible ceramic stones. You don't really have to do this after a 1000 grit diamond. That's pretty bloody fine. But these are beautiful to work with. They got a bit of flex to them. It's some sort of composite mixed with ceramic. I'm not 100% sure how it's made. Um, but the polish you can get with those stones is bloody amazing. And then I'm doing all this with my 92 uh, degree uh, file guide. World Cup edition with stainless steel plate. So it glides nicely on the base. And obviously a screw clamp. This clamp clamps down the files so it doesn't change its angle as I'm uh, filing the edge. Um, yeah, so this goes into tuning an edge to polished awesomeness. And um, what you can see here is that there is no gum stone. And why is there no gum stone? Because uh, going this fine simply doesn't leave a burr. Like you get a perfect edge at 88 uh, degree side edge angle without any burr i don't need to deburr or or detune or whatever it's just perfection now does it make me a better tuner that i'm using premium tools no does it make for uh easier more efficient work with a more consistent outcome 100 are you going to notice this you tell me